So this is going to be a demonstration of the KCS um, Python script to encode and decode files to your cassette tapes. Um, so the first time you run the script, it's going to ask for the the path to the DOS box exe. I think this is the default location. This is where mine is. And then it's going to ask um, which device you want to record from. So two is where my cassette player is plugged into with its microphone cable. And um, so this is the menu. Um, you only need to do that setup once. Every other time you open the script, it will remember your choices. And if you want to change them, you can go to the fifth option and just do it all again. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate encoding a file with this uh, dog image and this dog image is about five kilobytes so very small um, that's just for demonstration purposes uh, it won't take too long so select option one to encode and put in the dog file name this um unless you provide a file path it takes all of the from all of the files from the current working directory that the script is ran in so dog.webp output file, you have to provide the wave file file extension. Then we click enter and it opens dots box and it's going to encode our files for us. You might notice the file names are different. That's just um, DOS box, uh, DOS's weird naming conventions that I had to adhere to. Um, so would you like to play the file? So at this point, if you have your cassette ready to record from your computer, you can go ahead and play it and it'll wait for you to pre press space to start playback. So we can switch over to looking at the cassette now. Okay, so we can press space to start playback. We got the cassette deck here. It's all ready with the tape counter at the right spot. I've already recorded a bunch of stuff on this tape, so it's quite far into the tape. So once we're ready, we can just press space or play and record, and then space on the keyboard, and it'll count us in and give us a nice um, indication that we're playing on the cassette. And it'll show a progress bar here with 47 seconds to go. So once it is done, we can just go ahead and stop the cassette and it shows that it's not playing anything anymore. And now we can go back to the computer. Okay, so once your file has been encoded and recorded onto your cassette tape, um, you come back to the menu. There's actually one other way that you could um, record a file straight from a, a WAV file. Just click option three and um, I have this, um, let's see, I have a short file just to show. So it does the same thing. You just don't need to encode first. You just go straight from a file. Um, I'm not actually recording this onto my cassette. This is just to show. So yeah. Um, but if we want to record back from the cassette now, this is option four. And if you set up your um, input correctly, you just click that and it'll wait for you to press space and it will start recording from your um, cassette input. Okay, so it says press space, start recording. And the cassette's ready again. We've rewound it to the beginning of the program or, or file. And so what we're gonna do is press play on the cassette, and then press space on the keyboard. Now it's listening for data, and then it detects that there's a program, so it starts recording. And then once the, once the program is done, it'll automatically end. If there is a problem, you can um, just press escape to stop manually.
So it's done and we can stop our cassette and it says it's generated output. Would you like to decode? So if you'd want to decode, we can just click yes and give the output a file name. So we'll just call it dog2. And again, it will open DOSBox and it's going to decode our file now. And once it's decoded, it'll ask if we want to open it. So if we open it, it'll show the picture that we decoded straight from the cassette. So I think that is all the options for the program. If you want to exit, just click six. And uh, thanks for watching.